Good afternoon, Scrappers. How are we all this Thursday afternoon? Me? Absolutely incredible. Fantastic. And um, I hope you guys are feeling exactly the same. And if you're not, well, I don't really want to hear why, okay? Because I want to be hearing that you're sensation. Nothing but positive, positive vibes, positivity, okay? Nothing, we don't want to hear um, doom and gloom on your day. We just want to hear that you've had a great day. Whether it was good or not, it doesn't matter. You've got to put the spin, okay? Bit of Shane Warne on it. Bit of a flipper, okay? And um, turn the negative into a positive. There's ways you can do it. I'm sure there is. Do it every single day. As long as you're alive, it's a good day. So, today, we're going to do a, uh, a little bit of a scrap. We're going to scrap this transformer. I did this one yesterday. This was his twin brother, okay? So, old mate transformer here is going to join his twin his twin brother is going to be set free from his steel casing and he's going to be a nice piece of copper. But before we get to this point, let's have a little bit of a look-see at what free stuff we have gathered from the skip bin. So here we are. We worked Monday and Thursday this week driving a concrete truck and uh, Tuesday and Wednesday were washed out by the rain so essentially what we're going to be looking at now is today's finds so this afternoon we picked up four ceiling fans from a couple uh, different bins not too many these blades uh, they were aluminium I came to the conclusion that they're aluminium due to the lack of rust. I grabbed these um, lights as well. Purely grabbed them because of the ballast. Okay. And then we had all this electric cable. Yeah, this electric cable and all that free stuff will go to my own little personal collection. My own little personal collection. Where therefore, that um, everything I sell and get for free will go towards my little crypto uh, investment. You know, buying more and more here and there, which I started three years ago. So anyway, we're going to, um, seeing that this cable here is of reasonable lengths, I will be running this through the machine and uh, stripping it to bare bright. This particular cable, as you can see, is a TPS cable and 2.5 mil. If doing this under the business, I probably wouldn't bother because it's got better stuff to strip. But because it's my own personal stuff, I'm gonna put the time in and I'm gonna strip it. Now this one here, this is the uh, Monday special. Yes, it is another solar inverter. This bad boy was in the bin, and in the same bin I always find them. Uh, mind you, there was some uh, electric cable, but um, I've already stripped and peeled it. Um, also, this was a, a today's find. These fans, they were also in the bin, and grabbed them purely for the electric motor. As you can see, but the cords are still attached, so a little added bonus. Now, a few weeks ago, maybe a month and a half or two months ago, you would have remembered I got 22 light, um, 22 high bay lights for free. Okay, they were going to be thrown away, and I gathered them up. Well, these here which I finally got around to doing. As you would have seen in a couple of videos, 
I've decided to remove the copper from the ballasts. And uh, all up here we have 16.1 kilos of either domestic or burnt copper from these light ballasts. Although there's 16.1 kilos because I actually did 23 of them. One was an extra from another time. But uh, we won't go into that because it's not really necessary. And that one right there will boost it to over 17 kilos. So again, my lovely free bucket of stuff. So, after much talking and showing, we are now seated at the table of kings. And I uh, welcome you all to take a seat. So pull up a plastic chair and we shall watch a bit of a demonstration of how we go about removing the copper from this transformer. Now, before we get into it, uh, we've got to add a couple credits here, you know, a bit of a, uh, a, a special mention, okay? Now, prior to me doing one yesterday, uh, my buddy Brad, he was uh, showing what he was doing, and uh, he happened to scrap a, a, a light ballast. Now, this light ballast was a big bastard, 14 kilos, mind you. And the copper that came out of it was, uh, what was it? I don't know exactly what it was from memory, but I do recall that the copper to steel weight ratio was like 35% copper. That is a ripper of a ballast. But one thing I picked up on while he was showing a little video of what he was doing is that he had a couple of extra transformers, and these particular ones are exactly the same, okay? Well, he was using two transformers the same, and he was essentially using them as a, uh, a bit of a platform, okay? A bit of a, a, bit of a table to aid in um, him knocking out the bit of copper, which I will demonstrate. So let me just get this set back up. Have a drink of madness, okay? This is my final can of four, okay? So it's kind of all downhill from here. All downhill. Mind you, I may or may not do this on this table. We don't want to ruin the king's table. But, in order to remove this copper from this transformer. If you've got the simple tools, great. If you've got advanced tools, great for you. But anyway, I'm just a poor simple man. So I have poor simple tools. And this poor simple tool is a cold chisel. And a hammer rather inexpensive items and you know the old side cutters they don't hurt as well but cold chisel and the hammer is essentially going to be your number one but your uh, side cutters you know they're going to be used for just for a bit of a, a snip there and a snip there. Oh, it wasn't a very good view there, but never mind. You've got the idea. Oh, also, I have old mate Stanley. Now, Stanley, we're going to use him for removing these connector bits, okay? Now, these connector bits are brass, so we're just going to cut it out of this little bit of paper casing here and we're going to throw it in the clean brass bucket clean because it's only got copper connected to it and um, if the uh, brass outweighs the copper it's clean okay once you start getting too much copper to brass it's 
it kind of changes the scenario. But more brass than copper is better. A little bit of copper is okay, radio. So anyway, as I said, after too much yabbity yabbity, oh, 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 I have missed the important, the most important thing. I shall grab it. I didn't have to go too far, but block, okay? A block of wood. Ideally, something more solid than a block of wood would be handy. And whilst I was driving in the truck today, I had a few ideas, but they're not available to me. But anyway, so I'm gonna set up and uh, let's get stuck into what we are gonna do. But, as I said, this here, the weight of this was 3.887 kilos, and the copper to steel weight ratio is around the 27% mark for copper. Now, you have a view of this ballast, uh, not a ballast, transformer doesn't it look amazing what a fantastic view take it in take a few camera shots show it to the family you know so in order to remove the copper from this particular transformer one thing we're going to do is we're going to chisel along as you can see that weld line okay and you're going to get the cold chisel and we're gonna smash along this line. If you've got a long one, excellent for you. But I don't have a long one, so I'm gonna make a few hits along here. Also, this base plate here, okay? This, is, isn't, this thing here isn't just gonna knock off. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to get a hammer, and I'm gonna give it a bit of a whack. And I'm going to fold it over with the hammer just like that okay so that way I can use old mate here what up G G clamp welcome to the house yeah so here we are got the cold chisel in hand and we are going to grab the hammer and knock along this car, uh, this weld line. It's gonna get a little bit noisy. It's gonna get a little bit noisy. See that? Piece of cake. And don't forget, the steel that you remove from the transformer is also sellable. So it's added value to what you remove, okay? The copper is worth one amount, the steel is worth another. So it all adds up. gonna get this base plate give a bit of a whack and fold it over Very, very instrumental, this particular plate, isn't it, eh? Hey? 
like that. See, just like that. If you had a vice, maybe things might be different. But I, I don't have a vice, so you have to improvise. Okay, improvise. Now while we're here, just gonna chuck a bit of a cut so I can remove the connector bit here. Ow! Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Look at that. Unreal brass bits. So have a look what else we can remove. And without flicking it everywhere. Tape. I've got a bucket beside me to put the rubbish in. I am prepared. Uh, I can stay that way. Now the next step. Now this is the part I picked up from Brad, okay? And I thought that wasn't a bad idea. Actually, very good idea. So what he had, this is where we bring the two transformers that you may have that are the same size. Now, you can argue the fact that, oh, but we don't have two transformers the same size. What are we gonna do? Improvise, okay? I can't tell you what you're gonna do because I can't think of something. But, you know, that's why you got a bit of gray matter upstairs to work it out. So, this is what we do. We get the plate here. Ideally, this is better for me to do on the ground, a nice, firm, hard surface. But just for demonstration purposes, I'll use the table. So, we'll get this edge here, and we'll stick it on the edge right here. And we'll get that edge and stick it on the opposite side. Bingo, okay? Wow, what an incredible feat. Amazing. But I have to move it back a little bit so I can clamp it. And, mind you, on the ground is definitely a lot better. And, for the sake of the video, I've got to turn this around, okay? Because clamping wise, it is, is it no good? You know what I mean? Is it no good? Mamma mia! Bring it to the edge. Because just like Aerosmith, they said, we're living on the edge. And if you've been watching, you might start to pick up a few things out. I'm making a few song references. Why? Because I'm an idiot. But that's just what I'm doing. Okay? And there we go. We clamp old What Up GG clamp to the table in here. And then we get Woody. Okay? Now, this is not Toy Story, but this is another type of Woody. No, it ain't Woodstock either. Okay? No Woodstock. Just a block of wood and, and then we're going to get the hammer we're going to place it on the edge of the copper don't kill woody okay be quiet Mommy. dominic thank you very much thank you please can we please look at christmas lights today what can we please look at christmas lights today don't kill that? woody don't kill him kids are handing me the look of christmas lights go for a drive daddy I don't think I'm in a very good driving state. It would be very irresponsible. So, stick the uh, bit of timber on the edge of the copper here, and we get the hammer, and we give it a bit of a bash. And it's moving. Hot damn. 
It's still moving. Hot damn. And so is a little bit of steel falling off. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about the steel. I'll also add, tomorrow I'm doing a scrap sell-off, okay? So there will be another video coming very soon. But while you're here, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Because I love it. And... Don't forget to leave a comment because I like to read your comments when they are available. And as you just saw, whilst I was talking, the copper fell out. Well, what do you know? Hard damn, it fell out. We always knew it was going to fall out, right? It was part of the plan. But while I'm here, I'm just going to uh, ow, run the knife through the paper there. But this bastard here ain't going to clean up too good. So it doesn't matter. It is what it is. It doesn't clean up too nice. It ain't the end of the world. But as you've seen, removing the copper from a transformer takes absolutely no time at all. Stuff all time. And yesterday, we kind of come to a, like a, well, again, Brad, he came to the uh, conclusion that we're looking at roughly like $72 an hourly rate if we were to strip the transformers. In my view, $72 an hour is not too bad. If you happen to earn more than $72 with your own job, then I probably suggest that you stay there. But if you're not, then scrapping transformers will definitely give you a nice little boost. If you've got the time to do it, more so I try to clean some of this paper up. Goodness sake, what a shambles. Look, it doesn't matter, okay? I'm not going to get this paper cleaned off perfectly. And if it doesn't, they may call it domestic copper. And if they do, I don't really care. Domestic copper for me is somewhere in the $9 region. So uh, that's good enough. If they happen to call a burnt, then even better. And that there it becomes uh, in the $10 region. So, let's do a little bit of a way up. As I said, his brother that we did yesterday, it came into about the 27% copper mark. And as we already weighed up this thing here, the weigh up was 3.887. The copper of this, it weighs one kilo and 68 grams. So once again, it rings true. Just slightly over, like 27 point something percent copper in regards to the steel to copper weight ratio. So a very good idea to scrap these things if you have them. Another thing too is, before you go, oh, hang on a minute, let's just turn this back to me for goodness sake. Now, another thing that came to my attention was um, light ballast, okay? Brad happened to be scrapping a few yesterday, you know, just sharing, just sharing a few videos with me with, with what he was doing for that afternoon. And what happened, what we noticed was, is that um, not all light ballasts have the same copper to steel weight ratio. 
okay? Now, those high bay lights that I did, the copper to steel weight ratio was actually very good. Well, pretty good, okay? We won't call it very good. Excuse me. We'll actually call it, it was pretty good, okay? Pretty good. The ones that he was doing, they were the small ones, okay? Just the small ones that you would find in your, not, goodness me, in, in your normal, in your normal lights. I think they were like 36 waters or something like that. And the copper to steel weight ratio was actually not very good at all. Um, probably would have just been better off to uh, leave them as they were. I mean, don't get me wrong. He was there and he was going to make a four dollar profit or something but i for the time and effort you probably just would have been better off leaving them as they were and walk away with slightly less because the copper to steel weight ratio was somewhere around i think it was somewhere below 15 percent copper which is yeah, it's, it's not very good. I, it, it was below 15%. I mean, I'm no Einstein, so I, I wasn't going to sit there and work it out exactly, but it was below 15% copper. Now, as I said, these particular ones here, of the one I just demonstrated, is 27% copper. If you want to get technical, 27 point something, okay? percent copper and as I said earlier the the big 14 kilo light ballast he did um, the copper percentage uh, what was it it was something like three well, don't take my word for it something like 3.8 kilos okay of copper removed from a 14 kilo light ballast so you're looking at it was 35 percent copper to steel weight ratio which is a very good return upon stripping that ballast. So anyway, enough yabbity yabbita, and 27 minutes later, I hope you've enjoyed the video to some extent, maybe learned something from it, maybe you already knew this. It doesn't matter, okay, it doesn't matter. If you knew it, all good and well. If you didn't, I'm glad I was able to assist you in some shape or matter in helping you decide as to whether you scrap something. Because if you have a lot of a uh, one particular item, I would suggest that you first scrap one and then do the copper to steel weight ratio. And then from there, you can decide as to whether you scrap the rest, well, strip the rest or just to leave it as it is, okay? Because you don't want to be wasting time stripping something if you're only going to make a small amount of extra profit in comparison to just leaving it as it was, okay? So those light ballasts in particular, the small ones, if you've got a lot of them, just do one. So first thing is first, you weigh it as a whole item. And then once you remove the copper, then you uh, kind of weigh the copper, see what it weighs, and then from there, you do your uh, percentage deduction, okay? And that way, you will find, and then you'll find out, it's like, okay, this is whatever it is. Now I can tell you, if a light ballast is at least 20% copper to steel weight ratio, then, it's good, okay? If it's 20%, at least 20%, go for gold, rip out the copper, do another, do another. But if it's, you know, like if you're starting to dip in the 15% region and below, it's kind of, it's really questionable. And, it, and in the end, it just comes down to your enthusiasm. If you've got stuff all to do, and you just want to do it for the fun of it, by all means, go for broke. Go for your life. Just do it. But if you've got a whole heap of other shit you've got to do, 
just kind of like, ah, fuck that. I ain't gonna do it. Let's move on to something that's a bit more worthy. Okay? So, again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the budding, like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment because I love the comments. I love it. Yes. I love the comments. More the merrier. Although if I get overrun with comments, then I'm going to sit there half a day trying to write back to everybody. <laughs> uh, when We are not there yet, okay? We're, we're not there yet. But um, I can tell you, when I first, when I wake up in the morning and I check my phone, and I'm like, oh, shit, I've got a few comments here. And I'm like, right, and back, sitting there, up, sitting up in bed, writing everyone, and the missus is having a, just hounding at me. Ooh, you want to write to everybody? Like, hey, that's what I gotta do, man. I've got a kind of a bit of a responsibility here. If I've started something, I've got to continue with it. You know, I've got people who want to hear what I've got to say, so I'm happy to respond. If you write, I will share my time with you, just like I'm doing now. And as I'm babbling on to 31 minutes, fuck me. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Enough of this crap. Drink is finished for fuck's sake. Never mind. That's it. Like, subscribe, ring the beding, and have an awesome, magnificent, fantastic Friday. I know you will. You have to. It's it, it, it's your it's the start of your weekend, radio. You're gonna have an incredible day. I just know it. And if you don't. Don't let it get to you. Turn it around and make it an awesome day. Doesn't matter. So bye for now. And, and I'm going to see you guys very, very soon. Ciao for now.